punishes aren't there on both sides, the advantage goes to Pika more because he can edge guard Kirby. Kirby can edge guard too, but Pika's recovery is obviously better. Yeah. Kirby's uh, once he's his out of jumps is very linear recovery. It, and Spongy was getting a lot of the a lot of combos and to start the stock. Like he would get Pika up to like sixty percent and then slowly just chip, chip, chip. Right. So all right, Reptar, and, Reptar and Mies the Beast. I what hope I'm pronouncing it right. He's a uh, he's a Twitch monster. He's been watching uh, Smash streams for a long time, as long as I can remember. Um, he's come out to a couple lab tournaments, I believe, in Philly. Um, pretty sure he went to Keystone, uh, but he was in my placement pool. He had a really good run. Uh, granted. He still ended up, I believe, in D3. Ooh, that's the Reptar right there. Or he D4. What's oh, the Reptar? The up air? Yeah, that he loves to like act like he's going going low and then to bait you to go high and then catch you with that reverse up air. <laughs> um, he gets a good amount of experience in this matchup with me. Yeah, the the Falcon's uh, reverse up air one of his more underrated tools. A lot of coverage, especially on recovering puff balls like oh my puffs god and yeah it's so hard to get around it horizontally because he's got the back air if you drop a little too low well as an unnecessary up b falcon can cover that very quickly um, so Mies beat kaz in the pika ditto and he gave me a little run for my money i hadn't seen him play against falcon yet so it's pretty interesting we know reptar like i said Wait, who did, he, who did you say he beat before? Kaz. Okay, interesting. I think he beat he beat Trayman too. Okay, but he was he. I think Dark Gentleman beat Mies. Okay, um, I would say Reptar is is probably between Dark Gentleman and uh, Trayman. Ah, all right. So in terms of skill, uh, Reptar yeah. is uh, is Dark Gentleman's roommate, and he's pretty decent at this matchup too. Um, I think he could. And you'll see he's he's a bit unorthodox in his neutral and stuff. Um, his neutral's good. Oh, all right. oh wow! Yeah. Again? I don't know if he realizes he gets his jump back on that because every time he upbeat without jumping, or the first time he could have jumped afterwards <laughs> and recovered into a much more favorable situation. Right, right. Um, so that was kind of close for a while, but it's Falcon Pika. You know, Reptar yeah. just got a couple of good chains and. Yeah, really turned around. Mies was not getting his edge guards. No, and and like you said, it's it was close, but it, it could be three stocks in a close match in this right. matchup. Yeah. You know. Oh, we're we're gonna watch I, the game like this. <laughs> I do think that uh, Reptar had the advantage in the neutral for the most part. <laughs> There we go. All right. So, thank you. All right. So we start off here. It's interesting in this matchup seeing both the characters oh. at fairly high percentage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That low angled was nice. Um, it looked like maybe Pika came out of shield. Yeah. Mies is going for too many of the runoff nares in a situation where they're not really there and they're not really necessary. Yeah. Um, it's a good mix up. Like you saw there, caught Reptar off guard somehow. That's and like you said, that's not a smart up. Uh, that's not a smart up B. It was un an unnecessary up B. And and Reptar is very capable of getting that platform quickly. Yeah, against Falcon, you got to be very aware of what he options he can cover. Because he's fast, he can cover pretty much the whole stage. Yeah. And if you're up being and just creating time where you are unable to defend yourself, that's not safe. Ooh, and Reptar, is, he's very quick to, you see, just move to safe positioning. His movement's gotten a lot better, too. Um, yeah, he's looking pretty solid so far. And Ooh, and that's... Again. Oh, and he, yeah. He tries to go grab Pika out there. I think if... So some Dark likes to do. If he had just waited, waited out the Nair, and then done a rising down air, yeah. at the very least, he could have taken Mises' stock. Taken him with him, right? Yeah. yeah. We got the down air. Oh, if oh, he had the tech chase, it would have been a, an easy up B to take the stock. Yeah. And he had it there. He had it there too, but chooses the back throw, which doesn't take the stock. 
So last game, it looked like, oh, oh there nice. he used it. Last game, it looked like Reptar was better at finishing stocks, where this game, Mies is, I think. Yeah, he's gotten a couple of those, those the falling nairs that yeah. actually worked in his favor. You think he should have down aired there to maybe put him on the top plat, kept the combo going? Maybe. Um, you know, it's kind of a risk either way. It's either an edge guard or hoping for that tech chase, so. Yeah, I feel like against Pika, you got to bank on that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, but you know what, though? At least he didn't go for the another up air and, yeah, you know, had been nothing. unable to follow up with the up B. That yeah, would have been the worst of the three options. Right. Mies won the grab battle down the last stock here. Yeah, and Reptar has a chance to close this out. You know, like they say in this matchup, all he needs is a grab. And he's it's got the it. the other so. coin flip that people don't know about. Pika Falcon. It's really just who gets a grab. Yeah. And he didn't know what to do with that, with that grab on the, that re-grab on the platform. This should probably, oh. Uh -oh. oh, and he, up B's into escape. Panky, I think. Yeah. Let's see, a reverse up air. Oh, and a good B. That was a really good zip tap from me. He put himself in a position to get out of the way, too far from Falcon, and could grab the ledge. Oh. And then he just runs yeah. off an SD. And that was like you were saying, that's that with that Nair. And Reptar will get, look at Fyro behind there. Fyro the benefactor.